the world tour continues and welcome to episode three. It's time to say goodbye to Dubai and travel to the next stop, which is Singapore. Hey, welcome back. I'm at Dubai airport ready for the second stop of the trip. I'm off to Singapore, which will be a long flight because we're connecting in Delhi. My round the world ticket didn't offer me direct flight to Singapore. So now I'm flying Air India for the first time. Not the best of airlines, but for a short three and a half hour flight, it's fine. Despite flying a Boeing 787 Dreamliner, I really felt like I was back in the early 2000s with this really outdated configuration. If you like red carpets and tan as a base color, this airline is for you. Still, I managed to sit back, relax, and enjoy the flight. So sit back and relax and enjoy the onboard hospitality. We're in New Delhi, India. Tons of bureaucracy upon arrival. Luckily, I had five and a half hours until my next flight. Here's a time lapse of the lounge. Still in an airport lounge in New Delhi, waiting for my connecting flight to Singapore. It's with Singapore Airlines, one of the top airlines in the world on their A380. So that's something to be very excited about. Not only the configuration and the seat, but also the service and the food is supposed to be world class. This is it, boarding a Singapore Airlines A380. As you can see, it's a mosque flight. I don't really care, it's gonna be great. Singapore Airlines is legendary chicken satay, with peanut sauce, lovely. I'm properly impressed. This seat is amazing, the service is amazing, the menu is amazing. Quick time out from the video for a disclaimer about those flights. So yes, I am flying some of the most luxurious airlines on the planet in business class, which is all nice. However, we didn't spend an excessive amount of money on this. As a matter of fact, I booked a so-called round the world ticket with Star Alliance, which is one of the biggest airline alliances in the world. And the price we paid was actually cheaper than if you would book it on separate tickets in economy. So it was a no brainer. Keep in mind, I flew about 25,000 miles, which is around the globe, spent four nights on a plane and spent a month just traveling from one place to the other. So I could use the sleep, but I won't deny it, it was luxurious and it was fun. I have arrived in Singapore and that concludes this episode of the vlog, but the world tour continues. And in the next episode, I'll be showing you what happened in Singapore. Stay tuned.